Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we will understand about why we provide crank bar in RCC beam or slab. And in this video, I will show you that how to calculate crank bar length in RC beam. This is an important uh, topic. So I think it will be very interesting. And let's uh, start with Shekambi Hedayatullah. So here today we are going to learn about how to calculate crank bar length. Okay. So suppose this is a beam. Here this is a beam with a fixed support and fixed support. This is a crank bar from bottom to top. So from that point to that point. From that point to that point. Here from bottom. It's a start. Uh, cranked or uh, start and finished at top and in our previous video I have shown you that how to deliver the length and how uh, why we provide that and how to deliver the bottom length of a starting crank uh, if you want to see that you can watch that the link is given in description and the previous video link are in a video playlist that is uh, basic civil engineering okay so suppose this is our crank bar i have indicated that here one and here on this is our crank bar and from that point to that point we have to calculate that what is its length okay so we know that uh, after calculating this is the important point that lc equal to 1.42d lc equal to 1.42d okay lc equal to 1.42d this is the equation so what is the value of d d is the value of from top this is the top bar length to bottom bar length the distance between the top bar and bottom bar okay distance between top bar and bottom bar and there the distance will be from center to center distance of top bar and bottom bar right top bar and bottom bar this is the d and if we multiplying that uh, d with 1.42 then we will found our lc this is a thumbnail rule now if we see here in our top and bottom this is the clear cover we have to uh, from total depth of the beam from total depth of the beam we have to uh, minus both CC and that CC I mean clear cover and also that clear cover okay so uh, now I'm going to show you that how we'll calculate that actually how we'll calculate that so suppose this is our rectangle if we draw a rectangle here from that point to that point if we draw a rectangle here here it will be 45 degree previous uh, previous video I've discussed about about that 5 degree angle so crank bar with 45 degree angle this bar will be created with 45 degree angle so here this is the 45 degree angle and our top will be as it is 45 degree angle and also it is 45 degree angle that means uh, the height and base will be same height and base will be d d okay both will be d and our that inclined portion or lc so we all know that sin theta equal to sin theta equal to d by lc i mean uh, the height by inclined line okay so if we modify that so lc equal to d by sin theta lc equal to d by sin theta now if we input the value lc equal to lc equal to d divided by sin 45 degree then finally we will found our that value lc equal to 1.42 d okay what is the d d is the center to center distance of upper bar to lower bar i mean top bar to bottom bar right so that's this is the way that how can we draw our crank bar length and um, in this channel they have many video about 
civil engineering related video i mean always i f always have focus about uh, software related video i mean um, different types of software that are required for our civil engineering and uh, if you need that you can watch that the every video playlist are given in description so if you have any problem if you have any confusion you can contact to me thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video